Ah, <laughs> oh, my flux weed. Okay. So then, turn to Professor Garlic. Um. No. Us. I'm gonna try and learn Another all the spells I can. Hmm? Why is she over here? Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. She's so bad, honestly. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, Thank you. Ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Okay. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here. Just mind the plants. Defender. Look at that. Confront. Defender. Glacius. Oh, shoot. Well done. Thank you. I'm going to save that, actually. I want to finish some of these other... Um... I might as well go to divination class right now, no? suggest you practice such maneuvers in a more secluded Okay, actually, monsters fast travel there. Here I am. Oh, it's this lady. That's cool. My guy's just in the background just looking at. Oh my, so 
knowledgeable. What do we have here? I hope those assignments... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious. Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A I do. measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. Thank you. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold then i for one see great things thanks channel your magic towards your targets you have it now why not practice the new hey. spell on the training dummy Jeez, that has got to hurt. Damn. Damn. and put your newly honed skills to Oh, that like has got to hurt. Oh, I found another one of these Rebellion. things. Okay. Yeah, here we go. No, oh, it's just down. Let's go, Deke. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh, it was during Jesus. those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Oh, 
great. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. All right, I got this. Tap T. Knapsack. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. You got one! I did. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree okay. looking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Whoa! <laughs> Not that. That's cool. Revelio. Is all I was saying. I haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough beast flesh for everyone. Revenio. Where's the other one? One less poacher in the wizarding world. That's what I'm saying. Bastards. Deke thinks perhaps you... I hope you have your affairs in order. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobbernals are just here in this large tree. I agree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Not that. Let me do this. Let's go! See, bro, I'm super smart. Everything's alright now. I rescued a jobbernol. Deke hopes your jobbernol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Ouch. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. 
They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. I will see you there, Deke. Revelio. Hello, Deke. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing <laughs> merchant? It is. Moon carbs gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Sick. Super cool. Okay, here we go. But first. Do cooperate, won't you? I got you. Woohoo! Professor Howard will never believe this. I believe I got a moon calf. And Leviosa is kind of like a trick to just to stop them in their tracks. It's cool. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. That would You'll be, be correct. Able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. I'm ready now, my friend. Nice little change of pace. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. So, uh, how do I do this? Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. I guess not. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! Oh. You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Shoot, this is like a, um, it's like a thing from the Magical Beast. That's super cool. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I agree. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. 
Geek hope so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Revelio. Sick. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Did I just learn how to put enchantment enchantments? Wait, gear features one primary offense or defensive stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add upgrades, to upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits. Multiple small upgrades. Good, because they could boost. Oh, okay, so then... Okay. Sure. That came out nicely. I should show D. Um. No, I. Inventory.
I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. I'm sick. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. <sighs> about transfiguration if you have a mind. So what's next in the life of I? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. You can acquire it by... Return to me once you... Oh, ho. I'm going to go do that now. Locate on map. I wonder if it's just there. Your field guide. I've no you Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. True. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Oh. Ominous swears it was used for the dark arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Mm -hmm. I'm curious the dark about him. Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Mm hmm. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Mm-mm. Well. Yeah, yeah. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus curse. Also known as the torture curse. Inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Wow. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. Oh, as wow. punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Dang. I mean, he How had no horrible. choice. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Good to know. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. I sure do hope so. Okay, 